Good Tuesday to you. Travis here from Cord Buddy for our daily Facebook visit. Hope y'all are all doing well. Uh, I'm going to do a little tribute uh, today to uh, Tom Petty. Uh, Tom was born in Florida and in 1950, I do believe, and uh, is, had played in several bands, dropped out of high school, I think, at age... Uh, uh, 16 to, to start a band and uh, you know was known for Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers for many years but then he after Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers he went on and had a, a, a very good solo career back the song I'm going to sort of teach you today free falling is one that I have uh, taught actually using chord buddy it's it's very playable with chord buddy and it is on our YouTube channel so if you just go to YouTube and put in free falling and then chord buddy it will pull up so go to youtube free falling chord buddy now i'm teaching it with the chord buddy so it will be uh, in the key of g i'm not gonna put a chord buddy on but but it is it will go you know so it'd be in the key of g but uh free falling only has three chords in it and it is the same uh, progression for the verse and course, which uh, I know y'all y'all think watching me says, man, why do you drink water so much? Well, I'm on an antihistamine for some allergies and to want to keep me dried up and it makes me thirsty. <laughs> which water is good for you anyway? But anyway, uh, so uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, free falling uh actually they, they did it in the key of f so they used the capo but i'm not going to use the capo today i'm just going to play it uh out of the key of e and the first chord you're going to use is an e chord so an e chord uses three fingers your middle finger goes on the second fret of the fifth string your ring finger goes directly underneath that one, and that's on the second fret of the fourth string. And then your index finger, if you can see that's going to go there, goes on the first fret of the third string. And you actually strum all six strings. Okay? Now, the second chord, and there is uh, some controversy on what this chord is. I call it... Uh, a add nine. So what you're going to do is you're going to, and some people call it a B, uh, a, uh, B suspended. I think technically both of those are, are right, but I'm going to call it an A add nine. So what you do is to get to that chord, here's your E, pick your index finger up and just move these fingers down one string a piece. And it's okay to strum all six strings again. So we go back over that. You're in a, an E chord. Then you're going to pick your index finger up and move these fingers down one string. So now your middle finger is on the second fret fourth string from the bottom, and your ring finger is on the second fret third string from the bottom. All right. So here we are from, from the beginning. It's okay. Then you trim it again, go back to E, and then your third chord is a B suspended. Okay, so how do you make that? Your, your index finger will, will be on the second fret, fifth string. Your ring finger will be on the fourth fret. So you're going to skip a fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, fourth string from the bottom. And then your pinky, and we got out, got to use our pinky on this one, is on the third, fourth fret, third string from the bottom. Fourth fret, third string from the bottom. And you're going to, the, the two bottom strings, the E and the B, is open. Try to miss the top string, which is the open E. Try to miss that and just do the bottom five. If you catch it. It's not going to kill it, but but just try not to do that. So here we go from the beginning. E, 
Also, you can do is, is after you play the, the, the B suspended, you can actually go to it. And that's where you bar the second fret entirely and uh, keep these fingers where, where they were, uh, where they were. So you're going from. So, what that's doing, that's doing, doing from a B suspended get to a straight B add nine. Now, that's my. I'm throwing that in. Uh, if you watch tutorials on that or watch him play it, they don't do that. But when in playing this by yourself, sometimes it sounds cool to do that. So here, it would, using that, it would be this. Hear it? So I'm gonna sing the first verse of it. I get where I can see it here. Uh, man, paper sliding around. Phone won't stay up. <laughs> I wish you could see my phone. It's just slowly sliding. <laughs> and then the chorus, I, and I can't get that high. I'm free. and free falling I tell you when I was uh, in college I graduated uh, Kinston High School and went to uh, Enterprise on a music scholarship and then transferred uh, I actually went to Auburn for a quarter but then transferred to Troy uh, formed a little band and uh, played out at the river what was that called the riverfront uh, it wasn't open long but it was a club out uh, just south of Troy, I don't think it was called Riverfront. Anyway, it's probably not right. But uh, I remember this one song that we learned for uh, for that gig, and I'd drive back home to Perry's store and practice, but that's a song that we had learned for that gig. But anyway, Tom Petty passed away. I was born in 1950, was born in Florida. Earlier, uh, he was known for, you know, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers had many, many, many hits. Uh, if you want to learn this using Chord Buddy, uh, go to YouTube, and I uh, will try to put this in the comments also. Uh, Sierra watches this and will do that for me. If not, I will do it. Uh, but uh, I, I teach it using Chord Buddy, and it's in the key of G using Chord Buddy because Chord Buddy is in the key of G, but it's very easy to play on Chord Buddy. And, uh, so anyway, that's going to kind of wrap it up for me today. We're right at 10 minutes. Uh, before I go, please, please, in your heart and in your prayers. And I watched John Rich last night. He was on Fox, and he said something that, that really struck home to me. Is, is he said, you know, we, we say you're in our thoughts and our prayers. He says, but I truly mean this. Speak to God. Ask God to be with these families, to bring them comfort and bring them healing. Actually do it. Don't say it. Do it. And uh, so keep those people in your thoughts and more importantly in your prayers. Actually pray for the families and pray for our nation and pray for 
our planet. <laughs> we we need it. Okay. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, have fun. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, please send your questions or comments to me at Travis at Cordbuddy dot com and i'll do my best to help you on your journey of playing the guitar see you tomorrow